Skylab astronauts returned safely this morning from their record-breaking 28 days in space. They landed on time and on target in the Pacific and are now on their way to San Diego aboard the recovery ship Ticonderoga. ABC Science Editor Jules Bergman reports. After separating from the Skylab space station during the night and igniting their rocket engine to slow down for re-entry, it was smooth sailing as their command module descended on all three parachutes. They splashed down six and a half miles from the carrier Ticonderoga. Because of concern about their condition after 28 days in orbit, the recovery procedure was changed. All three astronauts stayed inside the command module instead of being taken out by helicopter. The carrier steamed to the spacecraft while frogmen installed flotation collars and made sure the astronauts were okay. As the Ticonderoga eased closer, a line was fired over to the frogmen, who then attached a heavier line and the spacecraft was pulled over to the carrier. Then it was lifted up to the flight elevator by a winch. Inside the spacecraft, Dr. Joe Kerwin had already checked his own as well as Conrad's and Paul White's blood pressure and pulse to make sure they could walk out on their own. And walk they did, with Conrad just a hair shaky, White somewhat more so, and Kerwin himself seemingly having the most trouble. After a quick exam, doctors on the carrier declared all three in better condition than they'd expected. Kerwin and White's both suffered from dizziness and lightheadedness, with White's blood pressure low at first. But all three seem basically all right. They'll remain aboard the carrier until Sunday morning when it docks in San Diego. Four tests lie ahead, but Skylab 1 has proven that man can not only exist, but work usefully in space on flights lasting a month. It clears the way for the next Skylab flight, a two-month-long mission beginning in late July. This is Jules Bergman, ABC News, reporting. Skylab astronauts Pete Conrad, Joseph Kerwin, and Paul Weitz today ended their record 28-day space mission with a splashdown in the Pacific. Morton Dean has a report. Splashdown was nine seconds early and right on target in the Pacific Ocean, 834 miles south of Ticonderoga, which moved alongside the spaceship. The swimmers worked with precision. This recovery, unlike those of the moon missions, this time the astronaut stayed in the command module until it was hoisted up onto the deck of the carrier. Some old-fashioned heaving and hoeing to bring this space-age spectacular to a successful conclusion. More than a few nervous moments waiting for the command module to come aboard for that hatch to be opened, it was not known whether the astronauts would have to be carried out of the spacecraft, affected by their long stay in space and their swift flight back to Earth this morning. At Mission Commander Pete Conrad's home near Houston, a house full of people joined his wife to watch it all on television. And when the hatch was finally opened, it was the head of that household who hobbled out first. of the astronauts, Kerwin Weitz and Conrad, were feeling a bit woozy. They wobbled as they walked along the red carpet. Immediately, they were led to a laboratory, no speech, to begin a series of intensive examinations. After a quick check, one space agency doctor reported they looked quite good, far better than I had personally suspected. When Conrad gets home on Sunday, a new member of the family to greet him, a new puppy, a gift from his mother-in-law, the pup's name, Splashdown. Morton Dean, CBS News, New York. After living in space for 28 days, longer than any other men, the Skylab astronauts returned to Earth safely this morning, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean right on target. The astronauts were a couple of minutes late leaving their space laboratory because a freezer in the Skylab kitchen broke down and they stayed around trying to fix it. Once on their way, everything went fine. Here's a report from Roy Neal in Houston. The astronauts in their command module undocked and pulled away from the Skylab that had been their home in space for 28 days. Bye-bye, Skylab. About five hours after they took off for Earth, Conrad Kerwin and Weitz rendezvoused with the carrier Ticonderoga at sea, about 800 miles from San Diego. It was a warm, mostly gray dawn as the men on the carrier looked for and finally sighted the three parachutes and the spacecraft 
coming down through the overcast. During most of the complicated re-entry, the men were out of contact. Just after splashdown, Commander Pete Conrad made these comments. Stable one, right side up, a perfect landing. Conrad also said that the men were, quote, in super shape as the carrier prepared to pick up the spacecraft. Differing from Apollo recoveries, the astronauts stayed inside during the pickup. After 28 days, weightless in space, longer by far than any men before them, there was some question of how well these men would be able to walk. So Dr. Joseph Kerwin, inside the spacecraft, checked himself and his teammates very carefully before they came out. He and Paul Weitz reported some dizziness, but nothing serious. Finally, Conrad came out of the cabin, apparently in great shape. Reporter Bill Walker was on the carrier. is Paul Weitz. All three of these astronauts are Navy men used to getting their sea legs, but having a little trouble in this case, getting their Earth legs. And Dr. Kerwin, who needed a little assistance. The three men then went into the Skylab mobile laboratory for an extensive six-hour examination. NASA officials say they accomplished every major objective of their mission. They salvaged the Skylab space station. They brought back more than 30,000 pictures of the sun and the Earth. And most importantly, they extended the boundaries of man's staying power in space. Conrad, Kerwin, and Weitz will stay on the carrier until Sunday morning. Then they'll be helicoptered to the Western White House at San Clemente. They will meet there with President Nixon and Soviet party leader Leonid Brezhnev, after which the astronauts will fly home to Houston. That meeting, diverting a team of astronauts on the way home from a space mission, is unprecedented. But then, so was Skylab. Roy Neal, NBC News, Houston. The Skylab astronauts, Conrad, Kerwin, and Weitz, have today held their first news conference since returning to Earth a week ago. They spent 28 days in space. They talked today about the effect of such a long, weightless trip and how they've readjusted. And they showed some spectacular film. Roy Neal has the story from the Space Center in Houston. This film, shot by the astronauts, shows the Skylab in space. They said they had left the space station in good condition for the next crew to live in for 56 days. Conrad, Kerwin, and Weitz were in space, weightless, for 28 days. Today, they discussed the problems of readjusting to gravity. A week after splashdown, their bodies are almost back to normal. They recommended more exercise for the men who will follow them. They recovered sufficiently in two days to handle normal activity, but their first few hours back on Earth were uncomfortable. At today's conference, Joseph Kerwin, the doctor, described his symptoms after what he called chug-a-lugging a strawberry drink after splashdown. The farthest thought from my mind was, was uh, getting seasick, but that's what happened. And I just got progressive. I, I noted the same ver vertigo and the same heaviness of the limbs that, that the other guys had, but superimposed on that was this awful feeling that the world is about to swallow you up, you know. What I mean, it's no worse than a, than a hangover or anything else, but, but there it is, and you've got to struggle through it. And it stayed with me uh, through the entire day. I'm not sure, but I've, heard, I've read about hangovers in the medical literature. Uh, uh, naturally, you feel better after you, threw, after you throw up, and I managed to accomplish that, uh, that feat about three hours later. And it was uphill from then, or downhill, rather, <laughs> whatever it is in 1G. <laughs> whatever.